and the wait is over with the longest off season in women's football as the 15th Liberty A League women's season kicks off here at City Vista. Hello and welcome to the 2022-23 season. Today's game features the newest arrival into the competition, Western United, who are aiming to make a splash in their first ever game. And they have no bigger test as they take on the reigning champions, Melbourne Victory, who start this campaign aiming to be the, only the second side in the competition to achieve three championships in a row. And uh, Kayla Morrison back in that defence, missed all of last season after getting injured in the opening round of last season against uh, Adelaide United. And uh, Weston's uh, new captain, Jack Jacqueline Savisky, on the bench this afternoon. So is Chloe Legazzo. Some big quality firepower that's available for that for Mark Torcaso to bring on this afternoon. And we're underway here in the 2022-23 Liberty A-League season and it brings up the perfect time to bring up my co-callers this afternoon. Grace Gill, Grace, what are you expecting this afternoon? Well, Bakul, can I just say it's great to be alongside you for the 15th season of the A-League women's competition and what a matchup this is. What a huge task for Western United, their inaugural season in the A-League women's to come up against reigning champions in, in Melbourne victory. And not only reigning champions, but they've bolstered their side really well during the off-season. They really have, and that midfield uh, for victory, looking dangerous. Uh, I'd be scared. What, what about your thoughts on that midfield? Yeah, dangerous is probably pr putting it pretty kindly. As uh, victory have an early opportunity here. First corner for them as we have a look there at uh, Natalie Tatham. Oh, sorry, Catherine Zinnemann. And up. Uh, Leading goal scorer for the side last season without Melina Rez and she did a great job. First opportunity here to look at Biddy Goat as she takes a slip and early crock corner in there and dealt there by Melissa Taranto. We'll mention some of the reinforcements that Jeff Hopkins has brought in in the off season and Beatty Goat is most certainly one of those. As we can see her whipping this second corner on her left foot, albeit a little windy. Touch. Challenge there by Melina Rez. Bounces around a bit. Foul there. High boots. And uh, early, the early bruises of an A League women's season. Seth. Looks like uh, Lana Sun. Great player. What are your thoughts on her, Grace? Well, of course, Alana Cern, the inaugural signing for this Western United team, and she spoke so excitedly about what the opportunity meant to her as a player with Mark Picasso's side called the United, and the opportunity to step up into A-League women's. As we have another look at that corner that was whipped in, and a quick look at the high boot, that one really hurt. She's lucky to be back up on her feet there, but pleasing to see she's been able to jog that one off. One ball here. So keen. Just unable to build up any real momentum there, Western United. So after getting into their defensive shape, and they are a side that is good defensively. Formerly, obviously, a lot of these players are from Calder United, and they had a great defensive record last season. They're going to really need to stick to that this afternoon if they are going to beat one of the best sides in the competition at being in front of goal. Well, it's a really tough test for a new team and I think coming in from NPL or local competitions into the A-League women's, it's a huge step up in terms of pace, technicality and 
the speed of play really across the field. So for the Calder United girls, most certainly that's going to be a fast learning curve. And for the experience they have brought in to bolster the side, players like you mentioned, Pakua, Chloe Legazzo, she's on the bench, but I'm sure we'll see her included at some point throughout the game. The Americans in Hannah Keane and, and Jess McDonald, as I mentioned, they will be really important in solidifying this Western United side and getting them used to the speed and the level of A-League women's. Not wrong there, Grace. 11 of their players in that squad have never played in this competition before and it certainly is a big jump. And in a season where the competition is full home and away season as well. So it's a big task. And I think Mark Torcaso believes he's built a squad that's ready for that. As we see victory go forward here. Finds Beatty go. So loses out and swarms by Western United players. Dangerous. They're looking very dangerous as they head forward, Melbourne victory. It almost feels like it's a matter of time before they really break through. One thing Western United are doing well is getting numbers back behind the ball very quickly and they need to, but just swarming those areas where victory you're exactly right, Pakua. They're getting really good plays into the box. Opportunity here for Melina Rez. She swipes that, it gets underneath the ball. Struggles to keep that down, but great opportunity there as Alex Shidiak played it into her. Little shake of the head yeah. there from Ayers. She knew, she knew she had to do a bit better with that chance, but what we did see from Ayers late last season, after a really frustrating hamstring injury, as we get another look at that one, she just caught it just at the bottom of that volley there, and that was only going one way, but Melina Ayers came back into this Melbourne victory side late last season and was excellent. Really good goal scoring form. Good cross in there, but uh, that wind drags it back and you can see Catherine Zimmerman able to clear that. You see Mel Sorrento on the ball here. Playing it back to Sydney Cummings. A little bit of space here for Francesco Iamano. So, good, some good work there from Jess McDonald to see if she can create something here. On the back post and Holly Johnson coming in on that back post and just unable to connect uh, with it and a goal kick here for Melbourne Victory. But a couple of moments in the last two minutes, we've seen glimpses of Jess McDonald's quality. Just been able to hold the ball up, showing really good strength and deliver a ball into the box. Carly Johnson, a little, a little bit late to arrive on that one, but it was a lofty cross put through to the far post. But just a couple of glimpses now of Western, Western United starting to build and starting to create these half, half chances. Back there, Rope is on the ball. Former victory player last season and made the move across to Western. Francesca Yamano crosses it in, hovers around in a dangerous area as we see Adriana Taranto and Hannah Keane takes a strike at that just wide of the goals. But I'm telling you, she's played against them. She feels good. She's playing probably one of the better players for Western this half. Well, that was a really good opportunity for Western United. Hannah Keane knows that that one's got to at very least force a save from Casey Dumont in goal there. Goes along to Keane. She's on the ball here. Plays it out wide to McDonald. Opportunity here for her. McDonald swung back. That ball had a whip on it. And if Hannah Keane had been one step quicker, she may have beaten Casey Dumont to that and it may have been one nil to Western United. Isn't that Tatham takes the field again and it was Beatty Go who, who dropped into that left fullback position just to cover for her while she was off. I think getting that wrist or that arm strapped up or supported, but she tried to put as much pressure on Jess McDonald as she could, did Goad, but Casey Dumont ultimately stood strong to collect that one and a little bit of body too there coming in from the Western United player. Great opportunity here for victory. We see Beatty Goad on the ball. Just 
paint. Nice kill on that. Ryan, 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 Ryan. it out wide, but just too much on the ball there. So, nice kill on that. I think she must be very happy to be playing for Vitri and just playing consistent and playing football. And I think a lot of A-League women's fans are also really, really happy to see her as well. Back playing pain-free football, I'd say, is the most exciting part for Elise Keller Knight. There's uh, referee signals for half time and a really enter entertaining first half here. Victory starting quite strong and having the early opportunity, but Western United growing into the game and it's a nil all here at City Vista. Uh, get underway here with Ali Chidiak on the ball. Trying to drive her side forward and something that we're going to need a lot. We're, Victory going to need a lot from her this half to her just push them forward. And because sometimes sides can get stuck when they, they're not getting things all their whole way. A lot of sideways passes and not enough forward movement. But just play like Alex Chidiak, it can be easy. Turn the ball here. Cross in there, and Tiff Eliadis comes in late. Almost gets some contact on that. It's a free kick here to Western United. Well, that is a very, very similar start to that of the first 45 minutes. A, a good ball delivered into the box. Collection of bodies there at the six yard box, and on that occasion, when a player go down to ground, it was exactly as the first 45 minutes started. Yeah, no changes for either side heading into this half. See Bunge on the ball here. The ball whipped out to Jessica Nash. Takes a little run here. Plays it forward to Zimmerman. It's got Tiff Eliadis making a dangerous run forward. Eliadis here. Aliatis, but great defensive work there from Sydney Cummings. Never let her get ahead, too far in front of her and got a boot to that ball. And uh, got, uh, actually, it looks like it's a, maybe a goal kick. Tell you what, though, wasn't that a delightful ball there from Catherine Zimmerman? Strong shot there from Adriana Taranto, but always wide of that goal but the Taranto sisters they are have formerly played for victory before but they're great strikers of the ball and can uh, score a mean goal from outside the box and uh, if they're given the opportunity it could be one nil uh, West United well, with the wind in their favor as we get another look at this shot from Taranto Casey Dumont, I think, did have her post covered. But if she's... Taranto gets a good purchase of that shot and gets a good boot, good laces behind that strike, with the wind behind her too. We have seen her hit those in NPL Victoria. What's up? Have an opus. Just, uh... Looking, sizing up, saying, am I going to take this? It uh, looks like Adriana Taranto. Oh, who knows? Adriana Taranto, I believe, is going to take this set piece here. Plays it to the back to Keane, but just couldn't get enough purchase on that. And Opportunity here for, for Sydney. Early goal there from Western United and... Who else for Jess McDonald? The American international gets her side its first goal in this competition and you can see what it means to this group of players and these fans. Well, who else but Jess McDonald, the guest player here for Western United against her former club, her former side in Melbourne victory as we have another look at this finish. Melbourne Victory failed to clear this one, failed to get it out of the danger area. And with all her experience, all her level-headedness, Jess McDonald slots that one home in a well-deserved goal.
for Western United in their inaugural season in the Liberty A-League. Good cross there. But, uh, Collins read that well. Good ball forward, Chidiak, Chidiak, just wide. You would expect Alex Chidiak to finish that opportunity, but just wide of the goals. Well, it was lovely one-touch play there from Melbourne Victory. Alex Chidiak ruined that chance, ruined that missed opportunity. A little shake of the head, and she knows on any other occasion, this little help around the corner from Melina Ayres, and, on any other day, Alex Chidiak will be seeing the back of the net ripple. Here's as we see Weston here with Keane, tries and almost curls that in. She's looked dangerous this afternoon. She really has. And another opportunity there for us. We... She does great to get her foot around that ball. See, Valtoranto. Beatty go, beats Sydney Cummings there. An opportunity here, plays it into. Plays it in there to Catherine Zimmerman. Oh, that was excellent defending by Hiamano there. Great tenacity shown by Beatty Go to beat Cummins on this occasion to the ball. Zimmerman probably thought she had a little bit more time, but to their credit, Western United have defended that really, really well. But that's a great look for Melbourne victory. Really promising chance there. As the ball plays into Zimmerman there, but Hillary Bill just comes out in time to collect that ball. But again, another chance in just as many minutes. Zimmerman looking really dangerous, just floating around the top of the box. And I tell you what, Hillary Bill, she will eat into as much time as she can here as this last five minutes of regulation time ticks away for Jeff Hopkins' Melbourne victory side. Uh, moments like this where players like Chloe Legazzo and Jess McDonald are really important just to tell the younger players take your time we don't need to rush here we have, do have the advantage and for someone like Amy Jackson for this victory side what is she telling her her teammates well she's a real competitor Amy Jackson and with just a few minutes to play they're going to be throwing everything they can and trying to drive forward. They've had a couple of really good chances in the last few minutes, but now at the other end of things, Chloe Legazzo has the opportunity to whip in a really dangerous ball. Legazzo on the ball here. Whips that in, and oh, that the wind almost brought that down. I think Casey Dumont saw that and was a little bit more scared the closer that ball got to her, but Opportunity still here for Western United. Chloe Legazzo playing it out wide to Robers. Just taking it to the corner, taking some time off. But the ball goes out of play there. Well, I didn't mind that one too much there from Chloe Legazzo. She saw Casey Dumont just setting up, anticipating the ball into the runners, into the box. And had that been on target, it would have forced a pretty special save out of Dumont. It goes for a shot, but maybe something she'd like to take back and play around with it a little bit more. Yeah, well, it was lovely one-touch play again from Amy Jackson around the corner to set victory off on that counter-attack, but Brutus, on that occasion, she did have both Chidiak and Zimmerman in the box and perhaps 
just that youthfulness coming through in a game, the decision making in those pressure moments to pick out a pass. As we see Victory try to go again. They're, start, they're not going to give up. As we see Amy Jackson get caught between Ref and Chloe Legazzo, but Victory still going forward here. Just going to Nash driving. Just got Bradis on the out wide. Great movement there to stop that. See so Elise Kelly Knight cross that in, but everyone had come back. She just, it's a little bit of miscommunication there. Well, on that occasion, there really were the numbers in the box. A little bit earlier on in that passage of play, though, the cross could have been delivered. But you're right, Pakua, by the time Elise Kelly Knight looked to whip that one in. The play had shifted in direction. Should I say Hannah Kane. Still going for the ball. It seems like victory might have only ha mainly only have one or two opportun more opportunities left as Papadopoulos says we're gonna make sure it's only one if that. Yeah, look, and that's a, a really reckless challenge there from Brinis on Papadopoulos, who has been solid. Papadopoulos, Papadopoulos has for Western United. She's had a really excellent game. But in these moments when you've got, uh, as you mentioned, Pakua, just maybe one or two more opportunities to try and create something, the last thing you want to do is give away a free kick that allows Western to really eat into these dying minutes of stoppage time. And that wind. Helping Western United out, taking a few seconds off. See so Cummings lost that ball forward. But goes straight back to Casey Dumont. I don't, I don't know if she'd maybe want to try that again and keep that. Well, you can hear the shouts from Jeff Hopkins. See. So Julia Sardo waiting to come on. Chediak there. Loses possession and... See, Western United players are not giving up and they have opportunity to go forward here with Chloe Legazzo. Playing it out to... Sinclair. Jess McDonald out wide, but still goal kick and Western United fans are asking the referee, when are you going to blow that whistle because four minutes are up and there you go. First day, first outing, first opponent, first win for Western United and a dream debut in this competition and they are sending early, sending early warning signs to the rest of the competition that they are ready, even though they may be the newer side, they are ready to compete and for Melbourne victory, not the afternoon they would have wanted, not the way they want to start this season as they go for three in a row. There's one nil courtesy of a Jess McDonald goal after it fell to her. She calmly put that away and it certainly is a dream scenario this afternoon and big celebrations all around in West Melbourne.